Yay! I'm back home, yes, I've come to Morecambe for uh, a few days. The reason why I've just held up my uh, Frontierland bag is because it used to be there, across the road. Uh, it's been closed for 20... 20 years now? 1999 I think it closed. So like, 20 years ago? Is that right? My maths is terrible. 21 years ago maybe? But yeah, it used to be literally just across the road. It was amazing. I loved Frontierland. It was a childhood park. I'm um, actually here with my brother-in-law, my sister, my two nephews and my niece. I'm um, not sure if I'll get them in the vlog or not. I think my uh, eldest nephew wants to be in the vlog. He's a big follower of the channel and yeah, I haven't seen him for a long time. Um, there's a sort of a personal reason why I've come up to Morecambe for the few days. We're actually staying in a hotel down the road behind me called the Clarendon Hotel. It costs £150 for two nights. Uh, Lisa's just gone back to the hotel to get changed because it's raining, yeah, it's not very good. But yeah, Morrison's, you can just see over there in the background, um, actually owned the land for um, what Frontierland used to be and there was talks of it being turned into um, all sorts of things, residential at first and then it was talks of turning into like a, um, oh, all sorts of things like um, uh, like retail units and all sorts of stuff like that. And every time you come to Morecambe, you always see someone you know. You're right, mate. I'm not seen you, man, I'm yeah, I'm not seen you for a long time, dude. Cheers, mate. Take care. <laughs> see you later. Always see someone I know. <laughs> I'm like the king of Morecambe. Uh, maybe maybe Charlotte's like the queen of Morecambe. Um, but yeah, they, they haven't done anything with the land. Uh, across the road here is another Aldi that used to be the bowling alley there. They knocked that down. I have mentioned this before. Um, they've also got Taylor's Funfair on and Booster Max is here, so I might get on the Booster Max. My family's down there. I do love them and yeah, we had we had some fallouts and things like that and you know as families do and it's just nice to be back. And uh, yeah, beautiful Morecambe Bay just here behind me. Apparently there's a, an event on tonight with fireworks and stuff. It's expected to be about 15 to 20,000 people here. Which is great because the old days of Morecambe used to have loads of events on WOMAD and all sorts of stuff. The, uh, you know, like they do the big big weekend Radio 1 at the moment, but they used to do the Radio 1 road shows and they used to come to Morecambe every time. Uh, if you watch TV, The Bay is filmed in Morecambe. There's a few things filmed here. It's such a famous place, obviously famous for uh, Morecambe, Eric Morecambe of Morecambe and Wise. But yeah, it's it's all right here. It, it really is. I, 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 you know, I do knock the place sometimes just because of stuff like this. Like you got the beach here, but you got all the weeds and stuff growing out of it. There's weeds growing out of the pavements and the sidewalks and stuff, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, never mind. Yeah, it's busy. All right, lads. Yeah, you got the Midland Hotel there. We did look at staying there. They do allow dogs there as well. It's over £500 a night. Well, not a night, for two nights, in fact. Um, yeah, so... Again, it won't be the longest vlog in the world. If there's fireworks tonight... Sorry, there's a spot there. If there's fireworks tonight, I'll get the fireworks in. Not sure what time the fireworks are, but it's... So, 10 to 10. Thank you. 10 to 10. <laughs> That's how friendly people in Morecambe are. They'll tell you information. But yeah, if we get a bit closer, I'll see you in a bit. Back again very quickly actually, yeah, knowing me for totally forgetting why I'm was even filming. <laughs> and the other the other reason why I'm here, obviously, it's the it's the Queen's Jubilee. This is why everyone else is here. Uh, yeah, so it's nice to see Morecambe doing something for the Queen's Jubilee. Uh, people got the flags and the hats on, yeah, I don't know who, there's some sort of DJ here, there's DJs and stuff like that. No. Beautiful hotel. I mean, that was derelict for about 10 years. And a company came in and rebuilt the whole of the Midland Hotel. Really famous Art Deco Hotel. Beautiful inside there. So, yeah, you can get your merch. Might get myself a, a little Union Jack flag. But, yeah. Morecambe's great. Great to be back. I'm guaranteed there'll be someone else that I know here. 
Come on then, he wants to be in it. Come here. Come and meet my beautiful uh, nephew. You all right, dude? All right, dude. Yeah, he's followed my channel since I started, like six years ago. And it's been a long time since we've seen each other, isn't it? Well, we saw each other a couple of weeks couple ago. Of weeks ago yeah. I'm obviously not telling you why, personal reasons, but yeah, it's good to see him again. He's a, he's a dancer as well, 17 he is. Gorgeous, isn't he? <laughs> Takes after his uncle. I don't know. <laughs> Spots on the camera. Yeah, Taylor's fun fair. Yeah, he knows. He's into his theme parks as well. So there's my sisters over there. And Bra Brandon, Brandon's girlfriend and Alex, the other nephew. Looks like me dad. Do, do, do. I think he's had a bit too much, hasn't he, Bran? Yeah. Bo, come on, YouTube. This is, this is Bo. Hello. Hello. So there you go, I do actually have some family. I do have some family. It's nice to see everyone. Not sure my sister wants to be on the vlog or not. Oh, she's here. Hello, little sister. Yeah, alright. Hi. Hi, yeah, alright. Oh, there you go. The other one. Hey, up. The other nephew. Hello. Hey, up, lad. Hey, up. This is Alex. He's 14. Yeah. Looks like my dad is. Look how tall he is compared to me. It's because I'm short. There's another one here, the little one. You alright? This is Chloe. Yeah. And how old are you, Chloe? Ten. She's ten. And she's tiny. It's a tiny right, little thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's just nice to see everyone. So yeah, it's good to see everyone here about. And my brother-in-law there, Rob. The good-looking one over there. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant, this. So just wait for Lisa to come and then we'll uh, get on the fair. But yeah, happy Jubilee. How are you good at singing? She's a singer. Come on, sing us a song, Bo. No. No. She's just shy. That's what happens when you stick a GoPro in someone's face. It's uh, starting to light up a bit. Yeah, it's it is getting nice. a bit nice now, isn't it? Look on the screen. It's getting a little bit Beautiful nice. over it's there. Just around there. Just around yeah. there, isn't it? And um, they've got done a bowling up down there, did you know? Yeah, there's a new bowling alley. I said they'd knock the old one down. There's a new one there across the road. They've got the uh, Winter Gardens here as well. It's Again, very famous. Huh? All been done oh, is it? Well. Johnny's Pleasure Land, is it? Pleasure uh, yeah, Land. they've got Johnny's next door, which yeah. is like a, a pub sort of thing, bar. And then uh, the arcade underneath is amazing. They've got so many good things in there. Cool. Plenty of arcades in Morecambe. Love a good seaside town here on the channel. But yeah, they got the uh, Taylor's Booster Max back. We did come, but it wasn't operating. It was sat in a different location. There's actually a caterpillar coaster here as well, which I've never been on before. And Martin's got to kick me when I say I've never been on it, but I don't think I've actually been on it before. It's not on my coaster count and it's not on my list as well. It's definitely not, Martin. It's definitely not. I might have been on it seven, eight years ago because I've been to Taylor's a few times. But yeah, good little fair. Let's go check it out. Right, so walking down the uh, the prom and I did watch a Walk With Me Tim's video a few weeks ago. He did a live video on Morecambe. And he checked out these guys here, Morecambe Bay Chowder Company. And I've just got some. And it's delicious. It's a, uh, what did you say, Haddock Cake? It's a uh, Haddock Cake today. And it's uh, a local dish. It's created to be a celebration of the produce in Morecambe Bay. Morecambe Bay yeah. produce. Very nice. Yeah. And he only charged me three quid for it because he's run out. <laughs> That's it, the last one. But yeah, there you go. He's been in another vlog. Thank you very much. Yeah, so it's twice he's been in a vlog now. Yeah, I love chowder. Uh, clam chowder is one of my favourite things ever. Oh, Claire's here now, one of my sister's friends. Um, yeah, clam chowder is like one of my favourite things ever. Uh, it's really nice. I don't know where Lisa is. She said she was getting changed and then meeting us at the fair, so I'm going to have to ring her, but yeah, it's very nice. Uh, Bo, I've got a... Hang on. Hang on. Fid no, fiddle in one of my pockets. I've got another spoon somewhere. Is it in there? Try some of this bar. Go on. Oh, no. Taste testing on Coaster Crazy. So it's like potato and paddock and parsley sauce. It might be a bit cold. It tastes like fish pie. Fish pie, there you go. Nice, isn't it? Anyone else want to try some? I'll give a little go. I'm not a fan of seafood, but I'll let you know. Yeah, we don't really do uh, food tasting on, on the oh, channel. Right, yeah, it's all right, isn't it? It's nice. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. It's very fishy and potatoes. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a minute. I'm gonna eat me clam chowder. Well, not clam chowder, chowder. Very nice. 
Right, so we're in Taylor's. Um, yeah, I've got myself 50 tokens. I, I've, I've splashed the cash. Cost me 40 quid though, because uh, I don't think there's enough for everyone to go on rides. I've paid for everyone to go on rides. So yeah, they have the nice token box here. You just pay over there, card of cash. They've got the Caterpillar, which I don't think I've been on, but it's not on my credit list. You got the ghost train we've done before. A couple of kids rides, desperate for a drink. I don't know if there's any way to get food or drink in here because this food thing is closed. Uh, fun house, there's a twister, there's the booster max, I want to do that. Uh, I think there's a super bob and a waltzer, Taylor's waltzer. That's about it, not a massive amount of rides, but uh, I'm sure everyone will want to go on something. I think my little niece wants to go on the ghost train. I think she said she was brave enough. Uh, my sister wants to go on booster max. No, uh, Brandon wants to do loads of stuff because he's, he's hard. Baby oh, Tilly. Baby Tilly. Hi Tilly. Tilly. Tilly's gonna go on. Tilly's gonna go on Booster Max. Yeah, Booster Max. Right, let's. Uh, what do you want to go on? Ghost train. We need a drink. I don't think that'll be going on here. I'm a bit tired. Eh? I'm a bit tired. Yeah, here. I'm a bit tired as well. It's like a four and a half hour drive for us to get to Morecambe. Uh, we're here all day tomorrow as well. Uh, so we might, I don't know, we might go out somewhere, like ice creams, I don't know. Uh, and then we've got a night in Blackpool. Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm doing Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It, 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 it more than likely be something that um, we've not done before. <laughs> she wants to go on rides with me, that's what it is. You want to go on the jets? She wants to go on the jets. So yeah, some, eh? so yeah, some good rides here. Ah, she's, yeah. <laughs> I don't start allowed on it. I was gonna go on a little jet with her. Yeah, Freddie, yeah. There she is. Yeah, pull the lever to go up and down. I think she's figured it out. Yeah, bless her. <laughs> She's so quiet. <laughs> she just looks. She just looks exactly what my sister did when she was that age. But yeah, she's ten years old and she's a tiny little thing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> really nice looking Miami here as well. Show me and uh, Charlotte and Charlotte's sister did this when we came to Taylor's Fair last year. Oh, the Super Bob as well. Never done this one. Wow. Route 66. Hook a duck. <laughs> Oh, it's not all good up. Oh, is it loud, Chloe? How's your helicopter ride? Is it good? <laughs> right, we've got to get a drink. It's the only place that does drinks. Yeah, very quiet, isn't it? Yeah. Quiet. Well, apart from that music. Yeah, I know.
It's holding it for us. There you go. <laughs> you can manage this one. Oh, I'll get it work. It's just holding it for us, so it didn't spin it. Come on again on our own. <laughs> yeah, it's quite back though. Oh, here you are, there's your Jubilee fireworks in the rain. Yeah, unfortunately I had to stop that sort of shite uh, sort of cycle short because uh, Chloe didn't like it, but yeah, I've got a pocket full of tokens, we'll have to come back tomorrow before we go. I don't think we've got anything else planned. We wanted to do Booster Max, didn't yeah. we? It's closed. It's closed down. Yeah, I think um, it's because of the weather. That one's still going, the carnival. Yeah, I think they are closed. Oh, there's people people on the rides. Yeah, they're still, I think it's just Booster Max. Yeah, Booster Max is closed. Woo! Yeah, it's nice that they're actually doing yeah. something here in Morecambe. The big crowd's here. And like I said, it is a shame that some of the major theme parks haven't done anything. It's, it's really sad. We used to do some amazing firework displays back in the day. You can hear the music, they got music, there was fire of flames and stuff going off over there as well. Ooh, there's your fire. Way. over there as well. Sounds like we're at Blackpool. <laughs> Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Then they've got a firework display on them. I think it might be Saturday night. Red, white and blue. Okay. Started. It's been going 10 minutes already. Wow, 
massive. It's a big fireworks. Best display I've seen this year already. Do we need to be wearing, do we need to be wearing top hats and Se yeah, the Second display. Well. Wow. wow. Yeah, they've done well, yeah. Yeah, they're very good. Here comes a big one. Look at that. Boom. It's like what's in Star Wars. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's the Death Star. Yeah. yeah. Boom. 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 It's all TIE Fighters. Look at that one. That was amazing. Yeah. yeah. That was ace. That was awesome. Oh, God. Oh, you can't even see me now. I got me to put my torch on you. No, it's all right. Oh no, I need to finish the vlog off. Yeah, me, oh, I'm looking over the grass. <laughs> well, how do you get out of here? Oh, we got to walk down a path. Oh, I can't see out now. Can you see you on the camera? I can't see the path, yeah. Right, that's it. Um, fireworks were amazing, weren't they, Brandon? They were really good. Very good fireworks. Uh, for a 12 minute display, 10 minute display. Brandon's got his light on because uh, <laughs> you can't see anything. It's pitch black now. Uh, but yeah, we'll probably come back tomorrow. Uh, go on some more rides. I really want to do Booster Max, Booster Max. with Smash with Brandon. Tilly. Oh, Tilly! What have you stopped? Oh, I don't Who's want to tangle her. Oh. <laughs> um, well, that's it. I'm gonna finish this bit, uh, and I'll carry on tomorrow. So uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. Fireworks are amazing. Really good that they're doing the ju something for the Jubilee. Like I said a lot of parks are not doing anything, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, comment down below if you've done anything for the uh, Jubilee, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you later. See you in a bit. See you. Bye. <laughs> right, good morning. Welcome uh, to the second part of the vlog that I started filming yesterday, where we've come to Morecambe for the well for a couple of days uh, while it's the uh, the Jubilee to see the family, which are over here. Um, we came to Taylor's Fun Fair last night. But we had to cut it short because there was the fireworks, it was really bad rain. And then the fair closed at 10 o'clock, so it's now quarter past two. Uh, we got up this morning, I'm doing a room tour of the Clarendon. It's it's an all right hotel. Um, the hotels in Morecambe are not the, are not the best. So you've got the Midland up here, which I showed you yesterday. The Art Deco Hotel, but it's quite expensive to stay in there. There's people in there now just having um, afternoon tea and he looks very nice but yeah we've come back to taylor's uh, in morecambe taylor's fun fair but there's this it's a really nice place actually morecambe on a nice day you can't really beat it they walk down the promenade with you with your dogs and the more cute toggies until he's down here but yeah i've got um loads of tickets left i bought like 40 what was it 40 pounds worth of tokens uh, for 50, 50 tokens I spent 40 pound and then I got everyone um, donuts and coffees and stuff so yeah I've still got the caterpillar to go on uh, Booster Max to go on there with my nephew uh, what else will we'll do, I'll see what else I just want to spend these tokens before I leave and then we'll go have a walk up the prom get something to eat and yeah just see how the rest of the day goes really Another Shih Tzu there. <laughs> Everyone's got like little... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where are they going? <laughs> you can't park down here. <laughs> yeah, park down here. All right, down here. Alright, but Brandon. Alright. Good morning. I'm on the telly now. On the telly now. Yeah, what happened last night? On the Booster Max. Uh, on that waltzer. Oh, Chloe half, had a fit. It was, yeah, all, half, it was good waltzer Yeah, though. half good a waltzer. Half waltzer. <laughs> The fireworks were good last night. Yeah, the as well. fireworks were amazing. We all said the same thing about the fireworks. Yeah, Morecambe. really good. Surprisingly good for Morecambe. Yeah, but they were very good. Gonna go on the Booster Max. Yeah, we've got to I've do Booster Max. You've already done it. So you're quite into your theme parks. I am. I love theme parks. Yeah, so if anyone didn't catch what we said yesterday, this is my 17 year old nephew, Brandon. Oh, yeah. He was a dancer, professional. Well, not yet. Not yet professional. Not yet professional. Not professional school. Yeah, so. Yeah, he's hoping to work at Alton Towers dancing, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. No, he's no. not, no. Right, uh, on cruise ships. We might have to get on in five minutes because it's going to go around a bit. Yeah. So, yeah, you get your tokens from there. Here's Tilly. Dog's on fair. <laughs> and there's the rest of the family. So, yeah, I've got loads of tokens left. Right, we're only going to do the coaster before... Um, before it closes and before it rains, because I haven't got the cred, and then we'll do whatever anyone else wants to do. Do you want to do out, Rob? No, I'm all right. Nah, he's all right. 
Yeah, uh, Chloe, did you want to do the caterpillar? Yeah, yeah. Go the caterpillar with me. Okay. She, got, she wants the cred. Right, let's go. Caterpillar. <laughs> you want to go on the coaster with me? So this is Chloe, this is my little niece. Ten years old, aren't you? Couldn't quite do the waltzer last night. But I'm, I think we'll manage to do the caterpillar. Yeah, I, I think I might have been on it years and years and years ago. But I haven't got it on coast account or on my list. It's a what? It looks higher than it was. Yeah, higher, yeah. Stop, <laughs> mate! Hey! <laughs> what are you doing here? Alright, <laughs> oh, let's get on it. Alright, here we go. Here's Liam! <laughs> I used to work at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Yeah, it could be a cred. I might have been on it before. Here's me little niece. I think she's all right on the little caterpillar. It doesn't spin or anything. You're all right. <laughs> yeah, so I'll add this one to my list. Wave to everyone. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad little fair, actually. It's a good ground. This is the location. Um, of the Eden Project North, apparently, if it goes ahead, uh, we don't really know. I mean, I can't see any markers or anything for it um, for it to be built. But yeah, Eden Project North is, is being built on this ground here. Uh, but they used to have a, an entertainment complex here called the Dome, and then next to it used to be the Sand Castle, which was an indoor, whoa, woo, <laughs> which used to be an indoor swimming complex. Yay! He's on the telly now. Yeah, good old Liam. It's nice, isn't it? Good ride, isn't it, Chloe? It's nice and smooth. It's an old one as well, old Taylor's one. Loads of room. Don't ask me if it's a Goobin or a Poofari. I have no idea. <laughs> it's just a running joke we have now. Hey, wave to everyone. Where you are, I can't see you. You're on the telly now. Yeah. You gotta put your arms up on the drop. That's it. I see you won't go anywhere. Go and put arms up, arms up, arms up, arms up, arms up. Here we go. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Three lot special. Yeah. They've actually extended this fair now till September, uh, which is pretty good because seriously, other than this fair and a few arcades, there's not really much else to do in Morecambe. I know I say that quite often, but on a nice day when you walk down the promenade, you can't beat the view, which you'll see in a minute when we go on Booster Max. Because you've got the uh, the Lake District over there across the bay, and it's beautiful. Oh yeah, some good rides here. Hey. <laughs> Oh, we've got to do hands up again, Chloe. On the wacky worm. Cred, cred, cred. Here we go. Here we go. Arms up, keep her up, keep her up, keep her up, keep her up. Oh, she held on. Whee! Woo! Awesome. Oh, we're going again. <laughs> oh, you don't need to see it again. <laughs> Right, I've finally done it, even though I used to live in Morecambe. I might have been on that Caterpillar before, but it's not on any of my lists, and I know I'll get a stick off Martin for this, saying I've probably counted it 20 times, but I generally haven't. I've just checked me... Um, generally or genuinely? Gen genuinely. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, I've just checked my coast account. Uh, I've now been on. I had to actually take one off the other day because I, I counted it and I'm not peeing on it for some reason. I've now been on 567 roller coasters. Yeah, David Taylor's owned that one. So yeah, we're going on Booster Max now. Me, Brandon and Brandon's girlfriend, Bo. Um, no one else is fancying. We're doing it. How many is it? Uh, eight. eight. It's us three. Yeah, us three. three. He's scared. We'll no. do the waltzes properly. Yeah, we'll do the waltzes. Waltz and then... Uh, Robert wants to take Chloe on the uh, the fun house. You might have to give him the camera. Yeah, that'll be funny that. 
Right, so we're doing it, Booster Max. Eight tokens per person. It's massive. So it's not too bad, actually, yeah. Right, here we go on Booster Max for the first ever time. This thing's massive. Bye. Bye. Oh, God. Oh, no. I didn't know we went backwards. Yeah. I said we wanted to go the other way so we could see the uh, frontier land. Oh my god. I forgot how scary this is. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? Oh. Oh, it's pretty though. You're live on Big Brother, do not swear. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, no. There's only three of us on one side. No. Oh no. Are you alright, Brandon? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh. Uh, Oh, this is crazy. No, this like is it. crazy high. Scary, isn't it, Bob? Give him a view of Morecambe. Uh, view of Morecambe, right, there you go. There's the bay. So, like I said, this used to be um, the super swimming stadium. Oh, my God, we're going, we're going. Oh, no! Marine land used to be over there. There's the Midlands and frontier land as well. Oh! Bye! Oh! <laughs> Send it! In it, Brandon. In it, let's Send go. it, oh my god. Why we start flipping upside down? I don't know, we might not because it's. I don't want to. Yeah, there's only three of us, so I doubt it. Really. Yeah. I wish this uh, restraint was a bit tighter. It's a bit loose. Oh no! Ah! Here we go! No, no, no. Oh, yeah. it's not going. Not ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Here we go! Oh! Oh no! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? We're going to flip! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Booster Max! Oh, Booster Max! From Derby. Derby. No, Derby. 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 No, it's Derby, oh, isn't it, Brandon? Stop us at the top. It's Derby. Uh, it's Derby. <laughs> Woo! I think that's it. You went round many times. Oh, I wanted to stop at the top. Who's the Max Taylor's first? Yeah, that was well good. My hair's a mess now. Woo! Booster Max. Yeah, nearly five minutes until really how was that, Brandon? Yeah, that was awesome. Good, that. Good. Well, my hair's a mess. How was that, Bo? Yes. Good. That was awesome, that. It's one of them gems. When you get up there, you don't realise how high it is. Oh. 
Oh, there you go, just done uh, Taylor's booster, Max. How, was, how good was that, Brandon? That was awesome. Uh, awesome. Really cool. Just the, uh, the view at the top when you're going upside down, you get to see all of Morecambe. Yeah, Beautiful. amazing that, yeah. Eight tokens a ride. I don't know the height of it because the owner's not here, but I'm, I don't know. I don't know, 60 meters? I gotta be. 50, 50, 60 meters or something like that. Oh, here's a fabric. <laughs> he said it was KMG. It's fabric. It says it here. Yeah. I thought it was fabric. Yeah. I know it's fabric because I fit on fabric. I don't fit on KMG stuff. <laughs> but yeah, really good that. Really good ride. Yeah, I don't know the height of it. I mean, it's, it's, it's really tall. It, and, the owner's not here to ask him. So, uh, yeah, what are you doing? I'm trying to find the... Oh, he's, he's looking for it, I'm Googling. Yeah, really cool. Huh? Yeah, I'll get drinks, yeah. He's from Italy. Yeah, no, yeah, Italy. Bo, how good was that? I feel a bit sick. Huh? Uh, feel a bit sick, but it was good. Oh, dear. It was good. She feels a bit sick. We don't, do we? Awesome, do yeah. it again. Do it again, do yeah. It again. Do the other side. Do the other side. <laughs> Bless her. I wish it would have gone the other way, though. As yeah, well. it should have gone the other way as well. I mean, we've got nearly five minutes on there. Yeah, it's good. Uh, eight tokens, I don't think that's too bad at all. It's, it's bloody massive, though, isn't it, that? Really, really tall. It's got to be at least like 50, 60 meters. 60 meters, I'm guessing, yeah. I mean, my crane, it works 30 meters, and it's... Yeah, it's double the height of my crane, so I'm guessing about 60 metres. Very good. Um, yeah, it, it went to Hull last year and it was like £10 a ride, which I thought was a bit expensive. And when we came and when we came here last year, it was set over there. Over there. Uh, <laughs> it was set over here, but it wasn't ready. They'd not fully set it up yet. Dogs everywhere. There's the waltz we did last night. Yeah, I've got no tokens left. I've got four, but um, I think Chloe wants to do the fun house. I have to get a POV from Chloe's perspective. POV, yeah. Uh, oh, we're getting a drink now, I think. Right, so you got the, uh, the Super Bob here as well. Oh, sorry, I'm in the way. And then we've got the Miami. Oh, oh is Chloe going on the Miami? Well, I'm not sure she'd like that. Oh, look at these. Look at these old things here where you squirt the water. Move the ball up the track. But yeah, it's a decent little fair. I mean, it, they've got some old machines here. It's, it's classic fairground rides. And this is what more comes. It needs, this sort of thing needs to be here all year round. There's people here, that, you know, it, it, it needs to be here constantly. You've got the Dodgems there in the middle as well. What? He's a fan of the channel he wants to be on. Fan of the channel? Yeah. Fan of the channel? You watch Coaster Crazy on YouTube, yeah? Yeah, you always go on like a ride, don't you? Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, nice to see you. Hey, yeah, yeah, you're on it now. Coaster Crazy. Got some good prizes there, aren't they, Brandon? It's good. Alex had a go then, failed. Ah, oh, did he? Uh, Alex, where is Alex? He's over there now. Look at the dogs. Yeah. Ah, the dog. Ah. Taylor's twist going round as well. Sizzler. Yeah, I think Chloe's going on there now. Yeah. So me, uh, my niece Chloe's just going on there. She's on the end here. I'm not sure. I think she likes it. Can't really can't really tell. She's got, a, she's got a coat in her way. She looks alright. Yeah, she looks alright. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh, she's not sure, is she? <laughs> is she alright? Oh, 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 yeah, no, oh, I don't know. I'll let you, I'll let you know how she goes when she gets off. Yeah, my niece survived the uh, the Miami. It was only a small line, children's Miami. A really nice fun house here, and it actually extends round the edge. You've not seen one like that before. That's really cool. Uh, the children's rides, um, inflatable, it's been down, obviously, because of the weather. Yeah, it's 
it was really poor weather this morning and last night as well it, it did nothing but chuck it down there's your ghost train i've done this one before three tokens it's all right there wasn't much in it but yeah not bad i might take a picture of that but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this vlog uh, something very different um celebrating the golden jubilee as well Oh, well, I nearly dropped my phone then. But yeah, I think we're going uh, to get something to eat. Have a walk up the promenade if there's anything else to film. <laughs> no, don't tank. Ah, no. Don't tangle. She's tangling me up in the. No, 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 no. I've got my foot caught. Ah, no. Stop it! No! No! <laughs> right, I'll see you in a minute until I get untangled. Right, we're going, we're going. <laughs> They're all waiting for me, as usual. Yeah, we're going. Um, yeah, it's all right. It's not a bad fare for Morecambe. Um, they, do, they do normally have a, a few more rides, but because there's so many fares on around the UK at the moment, then obviously they've got other rides going to different places. But yeah, I've done what I came for really. Day out with my family. I got the coaster cred, which I might have been on 10 years ago. I can't rem remember. Met me mate Liam Kennedy, I've not seen for a while. And I've been on Booster Max as well. Um, yeah, how was your little Miami ride? Was it good? Which one? The, the one you've just been on? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, you didn't feel <laughs> sick. She's shy. No, she's very shy, bless her. Um, yeah, I think we're going to get something to eat now um if there's anything else to to film i'll show you i mean i would like to do like a full-on morecambe video um pretty much like what walk with me tim did like like a live stream walking around and showing you what's here because it's it's a very famous place is morecambe and there is a lot here it just needs the investment um like i say in this ground here is where the proposed uh, eden project north is meant to be built but as you can see, they haven't even started doing anything to it. There's no markers on the ground. Obviously, when they do like a survey of the ground, they normally put markers on the floor that you'd see at theme parks, but there's none of that. You got, got the winter garden over there. It's a bit dark, that footage, isn't it? Really dark. But yeah, just to see it now. Yeah, winter gardens. That all needs finishing off inside. It's very famous theatre. All the Art Deco buildings down here. Pleasure Land, above Pleasure Land's where the bowling alley is now. That used to be where Lidl was down the road, that they knocked it down. So yeah, you got Morecambe. Eric Morecambe statue down here as well, which I'll show you in a minute. Well, yeah, it's, a, it's just nice to have a walk. Um, down the prom, the view's on a nice day, it's lovely, but it's getting a bit stuffy now, because yeah, a bit humid. <laughs> but yeah, come to Morecambe, get yourself on Taylor's. Alright, so like I said multiple times, one of the best things about Morecambe is this view across the bay, uh, even on a sort of cloudy day. It's beautiful. You can't beat it on a sunny day. It's one of the best views in the country and I'll always stick by it. So yeah, you got the Lake District just over there and up here, I'll get it in vlog for you because I know you'll be asking where he's at. Good old Eric Morecambe statue. Which is quite fun. Tilly wants to come and have a look as well. So Eric Morecambe, yeah. It's been stolen loads of times. It has been, yeah. It it's has been nicked loads of yeah. times. They saw its leg off. Yeah, they did. They cut its leg off um, and then had to put it back. But yeah, good old Eric. Most tall, isn't he? You stand next to him. Let's see how tall he was. Oh, he's not much taller than you. It's a shame it's a bit cloudy today, the, uh, the footage is a bit dark. I don't think he's actually that tall. Can't lie. Yeah, but yeah, here's your Eric Morecambe statue. Sorry, I'm in your way. <laughs> but yeah, you got all this thing down here as well. It's really cool, yeah, it's a couple of Morecambe. Come and see Eric Morecambe. Oh, we might as well walk down this way. <laughs> yeah, you got all this stuff in the floor as well. So there's nice areas of Morecambe and... They normally do all these flowers up in summer as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it normally wins a lot of awards for. Um, oh, oh. Normally wins a lot of awards for the landscaping and gardens as Morecambe. 
We got the King's Arms there, my old oh look, Pot World. <laughs> Pot World. What's it like in there, Brano? Crap. Oh, is it? Uh, yeah, rubbish. <laughs> King's Arms, that's where I used to go. The Royal Bar, anyone who watched The Bay, the first series, that's where they filmed the first part of it. And then they went up Back Alley for a quickie. Uh, Treasure Island's there. Well, that's it, this is mainly your, your, um, your town centre just here. There's not really a lot here. There's a Costa Coffee, that's probably your biggest name brand that's here. Uh, there's no McDonald's or, I think there's a Burger King and a Subway. That's about it. But McDonald's, you've got to drive out of town for, for McDonald's. There's two in Lancaster, I think, the nearest city. But it's not about that. It's a nice, quiet seaside town with the beautiful views across. Right, I think we've got to get something to eat now. Right, so this is the thing about walking around Morecambe. You never know what you're going to see. We're actually queued up to go to uh, Go Burrito, which is like, uh, Jane, Jane, you do it. Uh, go Burrito across there. And then we've come outside and these people that have a, a show uh, parrots and pirates and they're just walking they're actually on on holiday where they're pirate uh, parrots yeah. Woo. but he's on a lead so obviously he doesn't fly away hello <laughs> so yeah you never know what you're going to see is just give me a card so there you go they're on the coast of crazy now beautiful birds so yeah queuing up to get a gold burrito and they've just been shouted, come out and have a look at the parrots. Oh, jealous bull. There you go, you're on it now. There you go, advertised for you. Okay. Coast, Coast to Crazy YouTube channel, check me out. <laughs> there you go, go burrito. Right, so we're probably coming towards the end of the vlog here uh, in Morecambe. Um, we are leaving, well, we're staying again tonight and then tomorrow we're driving to Blackpool. We've got a couple of days in Blackpool, Saturday and Sunday. Um, but um, yeah, it's been really nice to meet up with everyone. Lisa and my sister have gone into the arcades back there. After we did the uh, the Go Burrito place and we saw the parrots. Uh, there's also like a, a desserts place called Afters, which is quite a, a nice name, especially if you're a northerner, because after dinner you always used to say, what's for afters? So there you go. But yeah, you've got this uh, silhouette here. It's been here for years now, um, a long time actually. It's basically, uh, metal cut out with like concrete filled in the middle of it um, it's basically a silhouette of the Lake District um, even though it doesn't have Scarfell Pike on there which is the the tallest mountain in the UK oh sorry in, in England obviously the tallest mountain in the UK is Ben Nevis uh, in Scotland but yeah it's got it all so barrows at the end and you come ar across here uh, you got all uh, this basically the names of the the different areas you got Wharton Crag which is just over there you should see the top of that one actually Wharton Crag uh, from here we used to go up there as uh, kids uh, in the scouts and stuff uh, Ravens Crag Hell, Vill Hell Villain is the tallest one which is pretty much out there so yeah that's quite a nice thing really the silhouette of the uh, the Lake District so that's what it's famous for you come here for the view and the beaches are really nice as well because they imported a lot of this sand um like oh i can't remember when they did it now but it's nice to see all the flags that they put up as well even though it's just all they're just paper flags i think tilly wants to go on the beach she loves the sand come on <laughs> well yeah other than what you've seen and what we've shown you got the clock tower there there isn't there isn't really a lot here in in, in Morecambe, um, really. That's just basically what there is of what of what we've shown you. Um, oh, the Chloe and Alex have gone down to the beach. Um, yeah, there's not really any attractions and things here. Um, there's some really nice walks up in Lancaster. You got the Williamson's Park, which is really nice. But yeah, the walk along the prom is lovely. And you got the beach here and the beautiful view behind me. Uh, which I didn't show you last time we came. We've also got the uh, the telescopes and stuff. So yeah, it's really nice. It's great to come and see uh, Taylor's Fun Fair again. Um, and I might, if we walk back, well, obviously we're going to have to walk back the other way. I might get a bit more footage of Frontierland from the other side of the road, which was a shame that it closed down. But yeah, there you go. I might take Tilly on the beach now and have a walk. Let's go down to the water. She's gagging for it.
<laughs> to go on the beach that is here in Morecambe Right, so I hope you've enjoyed what I've filmed in the past sort of couple of days of my trip back up to Morecambe where I live for um, most of my life from the age of three um, 43 next week um, but yeah this is where I want to end the vlog um, it's hell and then somebody obviously put the O at the end but yeah this is where the old frontier land used to be I, I mean I could probably cl climb underneath there and get in there and get you some footage but there's literally nothing left I think the uh, um, the trough for the log flume still there the old arrow log flume or was it a Mac I think it might have been a Mac no it would have been an arrow log flume but yeah the uh, Texas t tornado was just in here and then you had like the Am Empire building at the end but it was amazing the Polo Tower was just here it's another famous person of Morecambe John McGuinness is actually friends of my uncle so anyone that's into the TT and knows about John McGuinness I've met him he's a, he's a good friend of my uncle um, yeah the murals and stuff they've put down here are really nice so like I said the, the frontier line closed in 1999 uh, so 21 years ago yeah that's that's the Polo Tower so that used to be in Blackpool and it was situated about here really and then they turned it into a phone mast um, it's such a shame it really is such a shame so if you don't know about Frontierland it opened in the 30s it was actually West End Fairground I think when it first opened up and yeah it was basically a fairground so when I was a kid you had like a giant ferris wheel there was the Mexican hat and there was the roundups and twisters and all that sort of stuff and then um, Jeffrey Thompson bought the park um, it was Blackpool Pleasure Beach and at the time Southport Pleasureland um, he obviously spent the money and then they rethemed the whole park into a Wild West theme which is obviously what's on my bag and it was amazing it was really good it was the best themed theme park in the UK well along with Camelot as well but yeah that's a good one of Eric Morecambe um, it's such a shame and then towards the end of its life in the late 90s it was it wasn't making any money at all um, they did the thing like a yippee night on a Friday uh, like a cheap night and it was like £1.50 for a wristband so it was it was really cheap um, yeah it's it's really sad I mean there's, there was the wooden coaster here uh, you had uh, the um, wild mouse was here wooden wild mouse that was basically the same as the one that was at Blackpool uh, you had the Cyclone Coaster, uh, not the Cyclone, the Stampede, which was like a crazy mouse coaster. And there was a cable car that went from the other side of the park and it actually went across the street into a building here, like a wooden structure, and turned around and went back the other way. Uh, like I said, I would like to have done like a full Frontierland, remembering Frontierland sort of video, but I, I don't have any footage. I could probably borrow some of Charlotte's pictures because um she was from Morecambe as well maybe she used to got quite a lot when she was younger and I used to go all the time I live literally my house well where, where my sister lives now it's about a 10 minute walk away if that so yeah I don't know if they see anything over the fence Rob you're taller than me can you see if we, see if we can get some footage over the fence yeah I'll, I'll I'll point the camera down a bit, see if you can, I don't know if you'll be able to see anything over the fence. I don't know if you can see anything there, pan it around. This is probably the best you've got to get in it, I can't see anything on the screen. Cheers Rob, <laughs> you're taller than me, but yeah that's it. Um, yeah it's such a shame, I have got my drone with me as well, uh, but there's a lot of seagulls around here and I was got to get a bit of aerial footage of Frontierland like I said the trough for the uh, log flume still here I think but yeah it's such a shame it really is like I say go out there and support other family attractions and small places as well not just keep going to the bigger places because they've got the money they can afford to stay open little parks like this that closed um, haven't like I said it was owned by Jeffrey Thompson he ended up selling it after they built the big one because they couldn't afford it I don't know. Yeah, there's people in there. People are broken in. <laughs> Hang on, guys. <laughs> yeah, there's some kids in there. 
Oh, here you go. There's the, there's the log flume just there, but there's some people who are just walking, ra randomly walking around it. And it shows you how bad the security is around it, that people are just randomly walking. Oh, there we go. I can... Yeah, can't really get in. But yeah, the log flume's just down there, the footing for it. You can see the, uh, the old platform for it. But yeah, the, uh, the land was got to be sold off and Premier Inn was got to be here and but they never did it. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> hope you've enjoyed this vlog from Morecambe. Uh, nice to see the family, get back to Taylor's again. Um, other than this, I don't know what I'm going to be filming. We're going to Blackpool for a couple of days, but I don't think I'll go to the Pleasure Beach. I'd rather wait until Valhalla reopens um, later in the year or next year. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's it, I think. So uh, yeah, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for next time we'll upload another video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>